discussing mutation breeding, right? Dr. M. S. Swaminathan. Dr. M. S. Swaminathan. Dr. M. S. Swaminathan, he is a father of Dr. M. S. Swaminathan is a father of a green revolution. Father of green revolution in India. Who is a father of green revolution? Norman E. Borlaug, father of green revolution. Who is a father of green revolution in India? Dr. M. S. Swaminathan. Okay. Sir, Dr. M. S. Swaminathan, he is a father of radiation genetics. father of radiation genetics he is a father of radiation genetics and he is a pioneer pioneer in mutation breeding who is a pioneer in mutation breeding dr ms swaminathan what is the meaning of pioneer sir starting he started what sir mutation breeding Pioneer, initiated, started, what sir? Mutation breeding. These are some important statements concerned to Dr. M.S. Swaminathan. Is it okay? Right. Go for last one. What is polyploidy breeding? Polyploidy breeding. What is the meaning of polyploid? Presence of more than presence of more than a two sets of chromosomes. Presence of more than two sets of chromosome is called polyploid. Presence. Presence of a what? More than two sets of chromosomes. Sir, if two sets of chromosomes are present, then it is called diploid. Yes or no? If two sets of chromosomes are present, then what it is called as diploid, then it is called as diploid. Is it okay? Right. But here, how many sets of chromosomes are there? More than two sets of chromosomes are present. Okay. Sir, one set of chromosome, one genome. Two sets of chromosomes, two genomes. Sir, more than two sets of chromosomes means more than two genomes. Yes or no? More than how many genomes? More than two genomes. More than two genomes. Presence of more than two sets of chromosomes called polyploid. What it is called as a polyploid. Called as a polyploid. Is it okay? Right. Sir, if... Uh, Three sets of chromosomes are present. Three sets of chromosomes. Sir, three sets of chromosomes means how many genomes? Three genomes. Three genomes. Then what is that polyploid condition called as a triploid? What it is called as a triploid? It is called as a triploid. Is it okay? Right. Sir, if... Uh, four right if four sets of chromosomes what present four sets of chromosomes are present it means how many genomes sir four genomes four genomes then what it is called sir tetraploid what it is called as tetraploid sir if five sets are present penta pentaploid Sir, if six sets of chromosomes are present, what are present? Six sets of chromosomes are present. Hexaploid. Six sets of chromosomes are present. Hexaploid. Seven sets of chromosomes are present. Uh, heptaploid. What it is called as a heptaploid. Seven sets of chromosomes are present. Sir, if eight sets of chromosomes are present, sir. Octaploid. Eight sets of chromosomes are present. What it is called as, sir? Octaploid. It is called as octaploid. Is this statement okay? Sir, we are discussing polyploidy breeding. Yes or no? Using polyploids. Uh, 
using what sir polyploids for crop improvement is called as a polyploid breeding using what polyploids for what for crop improvement called as a polyploidy breeding what it is called as polyploidy breeding therefore using what using the polyploids using polyploids for crop improvement for crop improvement called what it is called as a polyploidy breeding polyploidy breeding best example for polyploidy breeding example for polyploidy breeding what is the example common bred wheat what it is common bred wheat triticum st1 triticum st1 this triticum st1 is a common bread wheat it is a common bread wheat therefore polyploidy best example is a triticum st1 triticum st1 is a common bread wheat is a common bread wheat sir how this triticum st1 is produced sir how triticum st1 is produced here i am taking two wheat species first one is a triticum monococcum what is triticum monococcum this triticum monococcum is crossed with a triticum Speltoides. Triticum monococcum is crossed with triticum speltoides. Sir, here two n is equals to fourteen. Sir, here also two n is equals to how much? Sir, two n is equals to fourteen. Sir, here I am representing the genes as a a a and here as what? Sir, b b. Is it okay? Right. now sir triticum monococcum triticum monococcum gamet n is equals to 7 n is equals to what sir 7 and it will be a right sir this will be what sir n is equals to 7 this will be b sir if these two are crossed okay if these two fertilizers then what we will get sir 2n is equals to 14 we will get and it will be a b s or no is it okay sir now this is haploid or diploid sir this is diploid it is a hybrid because it is having right a of one parent and b of another parent therefore it becomes what sir hybrid and it is a sterile it is what sir sterile therefore it is a hybrid it sterile sir why we are calling it as hybrid sir having characters of both having a from one parent having b from another parent therefore it becomes a hybrid and moreover it's a sterile now what we are doing sir we are treating this hybrid uh, with colchicin sir colchicin is a chemical mutagen yes or no colchicin is a chemical mutagen it doubles the chromosome number doubles the chromosome number doubles the chromosome number therefore 2n becomes what sir now 4n 2n becomes what 4n 2n becomes 4n 14 becomes what sir 28 1a becomes 2a right 1b becomes 2b therefore aa bb aa bb is it okay clear right now sir we treated a uh, right this diploid with colchicin colchicin is a chemical mutagen then what we got 4n is equals to 28 this is called as amphi amphi means both amphi diploid because a 
two A's are there. B, two B's are there. Therefore, this becomes what, sir? Amphidiploid. This is amphidiploid. What is this one? Amphidiploid. This is amphidiploid. Sir, now this amphidiploid uh, is crossed with another diploid plant, sir. 2n is equals to 14 I am taking and I am representing it as a d d. Is it okay? Right. Uh, now you tell me, sir, from here you will get gamut uh, as 2n is equals to, what sir? Gamut as 2n is equals to, how much you are going to get? 4n is equals to 28. Uh, therefore, 2n will be, how much sir? 14. Yes or no? Right. And here gamut uh, will be what sir? N is equals to 7. Sir, representation. How we will represent this one sir? We will represent it as a A, B. And what is this representation sir? D. Now we have to cross these two. If these two are crossed, if these two are crossed, then what we will get sir? We will get 3N is equals to how much? 14 plus 7, 21. How you will represent this, sir? A, B, D. Yes or no? A, B, D. A, B, D. Is it okay? Right. Now, this is uh, treated with colchicin now. This is treated with what, sir? Colchicin. Then this is treated with colchicin, you are going to get a 6n is equals to 42, 6n is equals to 42 and what will be the representation sir, a, a, because treated with colchicin, right, it should be doubled, right, b, b, d, d, treating with colchicin doubles the chromosome number, yes or no, treating with colchicin doubles the chromosome number. 2n has became 4n, 14 to 28, 3n has become 6n, 21 to what sir, 42, 21 to 42, is this statement clear, okay, sir this 6n is equals to what sir, 42, this is triticum st1, what is this 6n is equals to 42, this is triticum st1. This is a common bread wheat. Triticum estivum, that is what, sir? Common bread wheat, uh, and it is a uh, allo hexaploid. Allo hexaploid. What it is, sir? It is a uh, allo hexaploid. It is allo hexaploid, right? Note. Listen here. <coughs> Norin. What it is? Norin. Norin 10. What it is? Norin 10 is a dwarfing gene. Which gene, sir? Dwarfing gene of wheat. It is a dwarfing gene of what, sir? Wheat. Noticed. Uh, noticed in Japan noticed in japan sir norin 10 is a dwarfing gene right of wheat which was noticed first in japan which was first noticed in japan is it okay along with uh, sonara 64 lerma rozo 64 this norin 10 was also introduced to india along uh, along what sir Sonara 64, Lerma Rozo 64, right, Norin 10 was also, was also introduced into India, also introduced into India. Now, listen these statements carefully. <coughs> Sir, Norin 10 is a dwarfing gene of what, sir? Wheat, right? D, Gen, U, D, D, G, O, D, G, O, U, Gen. What it is? D, 
जियो ऊ जन दिस इज अ ड्वार्फिंग जीन ऑफ राइस ड्वार्फिंग जीन ऑफ अ राइस फर्स्ट नोटिस इन फर्स्ट नोटिस इन थाइवान फर्स्ट नोटिस इन वाट सर थाइवान सर डी जियो ऊ जन इज ए ड्वार्फिंग जीन ऑफ वाट सर राइस इट वॉज फर्स्ट नोटिस इन वाट सर थाइवान इरी वट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ इरी Indian okay International Rice Research Institute right what is the full form of IRI International Rice Research Institute located in Philippines right what IRI did means uh, right uh, it considered this gene it means it has taken this gene which gene there is a D G O U gen and produced uh, many high yielding varieties produced many high yielding varieties is this statement okay right therefore d g o u gen taken by iri international rice research institute located in philippines and uh, developed uh, and uh, developed uh, i r 8 and ir24 what they developed ir8 and ir24 sir what are this ir8 and ir24 sir this ir8 ir24 they are semi dwarf rice varieties semi dwarf they are semi dwarf uh, which varieties sir rice varieties they are semi dwarf rice varieties they are having early maturation therefore early maturing varieties early maturing varieties they are high yielding varieties they are high yielding varieties they are high yielding varieties is this statement okay right next a scientist by name uh, gurudev what are the scientist name gurudev sir gurudev and his team gurudev and his uh, team what they did means uh, gurudev and his team collected uh, collected 1313 13 varieties of a uh, rice from six countries from six countries uh, and crossed with a uh, and uh, crossed with a uh, what sir crossed with indian wild rice crossed with indian wild rice what is that indian wild rice name sir oriza nivara what is that uh, indian wild rice name sir oriza nivara right therefore gurudev and his team collected 13 varieties of rice from six countries and crossed with indian wild rice uh, to obtain to obtain i r 36 what is sir i r 36 what is the speciality of this i r 36 sir this i r 36 is also semi dwarf rice variety semi dwarf rice variety semi dwarf rice variety sir it is a high yielding sir It is a high yielding. It is high yielding, resistant to grassy stunt virus. Resistant to what, sir? Grassy. Resistant to grassy stunt. Grassy stunt virus. Resistant to grassy stunt virus. sir this ir36 solved major food problems in asia 
solved a major what food problems major food problems of asia therefore solved major food problems of uh, asia is the statements clear okay right the next topic that is a uh, plant breeding for disease resistance what it is plant breeding plant breeding for what disease uh, resistance plant breeding for disease uh, resistance now listen here a wide variety or a wide range a wide uh, range of what a wide range of bacterial pathogens viral pathogens and fungal pathogens fungal pathogens a wide range of uh, bacterial viral and uh, what fungal pathogens effects what effects yield of uh, cultivated crops yield of cultivated crops especially in tropical climates now listen this statement carefully sir here we are discussing about what pathogens what are the pathogens bacteria virus and uh, fungi a wide range of uh, bacterial viral and fungal pathogens what they are doing they are affecting the yield of cultivated crops affecting the yield of cultivated crops which crops cultivated crops especially the crops which grows in which climates sir tropical climates is it okay sir due to this bacterial viral and fungal pathogens uh, the yield of crop is reduced by 20 to 30 percent and sometimes uh, the total crop is lost therefore crop lost therefore due to what sir pathogens due to pathogens due to what pathogens uh, crop loss sir crop loss is how much sir crop loss is uh, 20 to 30 percent and sometimes uh, and sometimes total crop is lost sometimes total crop is lost total crop means 100% we can take right yes or no now see this statement sir due to pathogens due to pathogens the crop loss is 20 to 30% or sometimes the total crop is lost sir if crop is resistant to diseases caused by pathogens then automatically food production can be enhanced yes or no because due to this pathogens uh, right 20 to 30 percent loss is there in the crop and in some cases uh, and in some cases the total crop is lost if the same crop is resistant to pathogens if the same crop is resistant to pathogens then automatically we can save this loss no that is 20 to 30 percent so automatically the food production can be enhanced right therefore if if plant made a resistant if plant made a resistant to what sir pathogens then what happens number 1 food production food production can be enhanced 
what can be enhanced sir food production can be enhanced i am saying that uh, plant is resistant to pathogens what are the pathogens bacterial viral and fungal sir if plant is resistant to bacterial pathogen then no need to use a bactericide which kills bacteria if plant is resistant to fungi then no need to use fungicide which kills fungi yes or no sir fungi is damaging the crop to prevent the damage we are using fungicides if plant is fungal resistant then no need to use the fungicide no if plant is resistant to bacteria then no need to use bactericide no therefore usage of bactericides and fungicides reduces when if plant is resistant to pathogens is it clear right therefore number 2 reduces what sir reduces a right usage reduces usage of a bacterial sites and uh, fungi sites sir pro food production is enhanced okay reduces usage of uh, bacterial sites and fungi sites when if plant is resistant to pathogen we are saying resistant to pathogen resistant to pathogen what is the meaning of a uh, resistant what is the meaning of resistant or resistance of resistance of host sir listen this statement sir resistance ability of a plant ability of a plant to prevent the pathogen to cause disease it means a plant is getting ability which ability ability to prevent cause ability to prevent diseases caused by pathogens so it depends on genetic constitution of the host plant which depends on genetic constitution of the host plant is this statement okay right now listen here <laughs> resistance resistance means nothing but ability ability of a what host plant ability of host plant uh, to prevent to prevent uh, to prevent uh, what sir pathogen to cause to cause a disease therefore ability of host plant uh, to prevent pathogen to cause disease uh, to cause a disease to cause a disease uh, right this is called as what resistance then what is the meaning of uh, susceptible sir susceptible means nothing but poor resistance less resistance susceptible sir if plant is susceptible means uh, having less resistance so automatically attacked by pathogens therefore susceptible susceptibility poor resistance sir if resistance is less the plant is attacked by what sir pathogens is this statements clear okay right therefore resistance means what sir ability of host plant to prevent pathogen to cause a disease which depends on which which depends on genetic constitution which depends on genetic constitution of host plant which depends on what sir genetic constitution of a host plant sir we are discussing plant breeding for disease resistance it means by using plant breeding techniques we are making a plant disease resistant by using plant breeding techniques we are making a plant disease resistant but before making a plant disease resistant first we should know what is the organism that is causing the disease organism causing the disease number 2 mode of transmission it means how that organism is moving from one plant to another plant or from one part of the plant to another part of the plant mode of transmission mode of transmission therefore before before making a plant uh, 
what sir before making a plant uh, this is resistant before making a plant this is resistant by what plant breeding plant breeding what should be known the following should be known sir what are they number 1 causative organism causative organism it means organism which cause the disease okay number 2 mode of transmission mode of transmission mode of transmission of what pathogen it means how the pathogen is moving from one part of the plant to another part of the plant or from one plant to another plant therefore before developing a disease resistant plant by plant breeding techniques okay one should know the organism which is responsible for the disease it means pathogenic organism number 2 mode of transmission of the pathogen mode of transmission of pathogen is it okay right important uh, disease names okay right now listen here number 1 go for the first one what it is bacteria what it is bacteria black what it is black rot of crucifers black rot of crucifers is a disease caused by bacteria sir crucifer a previous name of brassicaceae family crucifer a previous name of brassicaceae family right therefore black rot this is the disease right this disease is caused by bacteria on what sir crucifers is it okay right next uh, number 2 second one diseases caused by diseases caused by virus virus number 1 tobacco mosaic disease what it is tobacco mosaic disease and second one is a uh, turnip mosaic disease tobacco mosaic disease and turnip mosaic disease they are caused by what sir virus they are caused by virus now go for the third pathogen what it is fungi we are discussing some diseases which are caused by fungi right number 1 first one red rot of sugarcane red rot of sugarcane red rot of sugar cane brown rust of wheat brown rust of wheat sir generally which pathogen causes rust diseases sir rust diseases are caused by fungi yes or no rust diseases are caused by fungi rust diseases are caused by fungi is it okay right therefore red rot of sugar cane and second one is what sir brown rust of uh, wheat brown rust of wheat is it okay these are diseases caused by whom sir fungi these are diseases caused by fungi these are some important diseases caused by fungi even we can take a late blight of potato what we did in first year right later uh, blight of potato it is also caused by what sir fungi 
therefore these are some important uh, diseases which are caused by right uh, pathogens these are some important diseases caused by pathogens right thank you